Bora, welcome to another episode of This Is Sevens. This is our first requested video that we're doing. If you want to see something specific in a video, please drop a comment below. We'll do our best to get through them. Let's get into it. In sevens, it's one of the backs that throws into the line out. It can be a daunting task at first, but here's some of the things I find useful when throwing. So the keys to a good line out in sevens is speed and timing. With only three people marking each other, you either need to beat them across the floor with movement or into the air with a good jump and throw. So normally whichever hand you're most comfortable with passing will be your backhand in throwing. So I'm right-handed, so this goes at the back of the ball and you want to get a nice firm finger spread, most of your palm touching the ball. So your other hand is going to have a lighter grip nearer the front of the ball and help you guide towards the target. Obviously have a little play around with it, find whatever hand position works for you. So setting up, you want a nice strong base. So normally feet shoulder width apart, a mini squat, which is gonna help when we wanna get power into the ball and then cock the ball behind your head in a comfortable position with your elbows pointing towards the target. So I like to picture a window that I'm trying to throw through in front of me. This is so I can keep the trajectory of the flight consistent and the timing of when I release the ball. So releasing the ball too early, it's gonna go over that window and probably over the receiver. If you release too late, it's gonna go much lower and risk being intercepted. So having that window to aim for is gonna keep my timing and aim consistent. So the majority of the power should come from the core. This is why we want a nice strong base. So starting the movement in the core, you want to whip your hand through straight to the target. So the spin from the ball comes from turning our hands in as we throw the ball towards the target. And this should be our finishing position with our hands. Hopefully you found that session useful. If you have any questions, drop them in a comment below. And as always, a like and subscribe will really help us grow the channel.